Hi students, welcome to the online classes of Pragati, the school for science grade 3. Myself, Saumya. Today we are going to start with the chapter 1, the world around us. Before going into the chapter, let us all imagine that we all are in a playground, see around and list the things which have life in them. As we see in the picture, we have trees, plants, birds and children which have life and also few more things are there like football, slide, swing, bench etc which do not have life. By this I think you would have got to know we are learning about living things and non-living things in this chapter. The main topics to be covered in this lesson are natural things, man-made things and the features of living things. Firstly, natural things. Things given to us by nature are called natural things. Example, sun, moon, star, soil, water, plants and animals which are shown in the pictures. These are like God gift for us. Next topic is man-made things. Things made by man are called man-made things. They are non-living things. Example, car, bus, toy, books, machines, etc. These are all as shown in the picture. These man-made things are all non-living things. They don't have life. The third most important topic of this chapter is features of living things. There are seven main features of living things. Firstly, living things breathe. Second one, living things eat food to get energy. Third one, living things move. Fourth one, living things throw out waste matter. Fifth one, living things grow and die. Sixth one, living things feel. The last and the seventh one, living things reproduce. About all these features, we are going to learn in detail in the next slides. Now, let us start with the first feature of living things, that is, living things breathe. All living things need air to live. Now, look at this table. There are few living things and also their organs to breathe. Firstly, it is human beings. We all human beings breathe through nose. Fish, which leaves in water, breathe through its gills. Plants have leaves. On the leaves, they have small holes, which are called as stomata. They breathe through stomata. Insects, all the insects have small holes on their body. Those holes are called hair holes and they breathe through the hair holes. Next feature is living things eat. Food to get energy. All living things eat food to get energy which is used to do work and helps to grow. Plants make their own food with the help of water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for food. Thus, Food is the main energy giving to us. The next feature is living things move. All living things show two types of movements. First is external movement. The second one internal movement. Now let's see what is external movement. External movement it means going here and there in search of food, water and to escape from enemies. All animals have special body parts to move. What is internal movement? It means transportation of food, water and blood from one part to another inside the body. Now we shall understand what is external movement and internal movement with an example. First one example is for external movement. Walking. Here the person is moving here and there which shows external moment. 
Next example for internal movement, blood flow. Here, our heart pumps blood to all parts of our body, which is inside the body. So, it is called as internal movement. The next feature is living things throughout waste matter. All living things throughout the waste matter, which is not needed by their body. They throw out carbon dioxide, urine, undigested food, sweat, etc. This picture shows a person is sweating. It is sweat is the waste which is thrown out from our body. The next feature, living things grow and die. All living things take birth, becomes adult, grow old and die. They do not live forever. As they grow old, they change in appearance. The picture here shows a baby. Baby grows to a child, child to a boy and a man. The man grows older. And here in each stage, the person, she is changing its appearance. The next feature is living things feel. All living things are sensitive to light, heat, touch, etc. They can feel changes in the environment. Sense organs help them to feel. We can feel these changes by our five sense organs. They are eyes help us to see, ears help us to hear, nose helps us to smell, tongue helps us to taste, skin helps us to feel the touch. The last feature of this living things are living things reproduce. All living things produce more of their own kind. This is called reproduction. Animals reproduce by laying eggs or by giving birth to egg ones. Let us see example 1. Bird with baby birds. In this picture, mother bird is feeding to its egg ones. That is, the mother bird lay eggs and produce its egg ones. The second example is puppies with mother. Here is a mother dog with so many puppies. This mother reproduced by giving birth to its egg ones. The third example is plants reproduced through seeds. We sow seeds. The seeds germinate and grow to a new plant. Thus, plants reproduce through seeds. Next, we are at the end of this to the conclusion. In this box, we have segregated living things and non-living things. At last, we have understood that living thing is a thing which eats food, grows, throws out waste matter, feels, breathes and reproduces. What about non-living thing? Non-living thing do not eat food, do not grow. Do not throw out waste matter, do not feel, do not breathe and do not reproduce. Thus, we understood what is the difference between living thing and non-living thing. Now, let us have a small revision time. First question is, plants reproduce through seeds. The second question, things Given to us by nature are called natural things. The third question, name the five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our sense organs. The next question, tiny holes present on the leaves are called stomata. The next question, the last question, name two movements in living things. External movement, internal movement. Hope you all enjoyed the session. Thank you.